Welcome back friends. So today we're going to do a collage and it's going to be a play button. And so I have some phrases in the actual round part of the button and we're going to collage the background and we're going to paint the word play at the top. Anyway, it's only an eight by 10. So this one should go. It's only an eight by 10. So it didn't take me that long to do, but the video is still long. So I've not really showing you the fabric mosaic part because it's kind of boring. <laughs> but anyway, you'll see the whole collage process and my thinking about what colors to put where and all of that. So let's get to it. Okay, so here I'm just prepping my 8x10 deep cradle board and I wanted to match this other one that I have previously completed so I want to make sure that my circle is exactly the same size and in the same position. So I'm doing careful measurements here to get my center points and find out where my circle needs to start and where it needs to finish and I'm going to double check all of my measurements like you know, from the bottom up, is it exactly the same? Find my pe my center point of the circle so that I have a, a place to put my, my compass. And then, you know, adjust my compass so that it's in exactly the right position from the center point. and then draw my circle. Okay, so I'm gonna start by making some decisions about where things should go, or at least try to. This is a little busy for the top because I'm, that's where I'm gonna be putting the word play. So I wanna keep a quieter uh, paper up there. And I'm not exactly sure this might be too quiet or it might be perfect. I might use this in a couple of places. Anyway, this might be good for right here. And then I can maybe use another piece of this somewhere else, you know, so it looks like it belongs. Um, this might be too much for up here, so I might overlap something on the sides and try to keep this uh, in the middle. I really love this. Maybe I should try to go for that. So that's, a pl that's one plan. And then, you know, I, co I could do this here and maybe here. Um, oh, I wish this was deli paper. I would love to keep that. And then I, I want the more, I don't want this strong thing here in the middle. I want some of the more subtle stuff on the side. So you know, like that with this looks really nice. And it also could be down here. So let me also use a piece of that. Okay, so we're getting somewhere here. All right, I am going to cut an arc somewhere around here. I'm just gonna lightly pencil in where I think my arc needs to be. Oh, I didn't even see that. Can't even see it. Just, this is, this is a Cricut mat that has it's slightly tacky 
Um, I've used it for a long time and so it's no longer a really strong tack. Um, but it's perfect for this purpose. Keeps the paper down. So now, okay, this was six inches. Six and a half inches is my arc. So I think that's like about here. You know, I'm going to test this on another paper that I know I'm not going to use just to make sure that I'm getting the correct arc. So let me, let me lift this a second. So this is thick with paint, so hopefully it'll cut. I'm not even sure it will. Okay, so let's see. That's just fine. So let's see if that is correct. And it is correct. Oh, that's kind of cool, too. <laughs> All right. Um, So before I glue this down, I want to find a piece for this corner. And I might want to a little bit more this way. So this one is going to overlap. So well, usually what I like to do is get some pieces glued down and trim off the edges so I can kind of visualize better how, how it's going because when you have all these messy edges off the board, it is very hard to, to see. So this is how I prevent bubbles. I get pretty flat. I don't know if you can see. They, these are great. It's, they also have, you know, it's more like a brush that's a, 
um, that's also a uh, silicone edge that some people like to actually collage with. I still like to use my brushes. It's just me. <laughs> okay, so let's see. This might be nice up here, but I kind of like, I'm going to stay a little bit lighter over here. So maybe a piece of this. Let's, let's just cut an arc with it and then we'll position it. So the reason why I'm using a brayer is I'm just trying to burnish this down so that it will be sticky, sticking to this Cricut mat that just has light tack. So I'm just going to go all the way here. And I'm going to leave this little bit of black and we'll, we'll collage something in that space. Okay, that's, that's going to be good. And then we will trim off before we go any further because it's getting hard to visualize what's happening here. I love these little torn edges that you get with the rice paper. And then they sort of really blend into each other. Okay. So as you can see, this part goes really fast. It's the fabric mosaic part that goes really slow. And I do use a Cricut to do the lettering at the top, but I don't usually show that part because this, this is not a Cricut channel and most of you are not interested. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll come back. In the meantime, I'm gonna start thinking about introducing, you know, some of the orange papers. Like this is probably gonna have an orange paper right here and maybe like over here is gonna be orange. I'm going to go figure that out. Okay, so I found this piece. Now I pulled it out for this, but I'm also loving all of this. So I'm going to cut a little bit of an arc up here. I'm also going to cut one over here. So what I'm thinking is this piece might be good for up here. Part of it. But then I need something for here. Maybe it's better if I do this find something else for there so I know I said I was gonna wait till <laughs> till it was dry and then we were gonna move on but I got excited when I found this paper which I had pulled out for this purpose for this 
video um, for this collage but I wasn't thinking for this spot but I think we have a lot of green and bl the blue going on we might still use a piece of this somewhere um, Before I do that, I need to start introducing some of the orange or we're going to get too far along and not have the right colors in here. So I'm going to also gonna just use the glitter. So I'm not being too exact about figuring out where my arcs are. I'm just kind of cutting. I'm hoping that my intuition is doing a good job. Yeah, I like that. I don't like all this white in the corner, but we'll we'll do something else here. Let me cut some of that off. keep losing my catalyst wedge <laughs> keeps getting buried with paper I definitely need something maybe a little more in this family like ooh, this really bright piece like right here maybe I can manage to get to cut um, see, see what happens when you don't use the brayer you really got to get it stuck down so now I'm going to try to go from the other side. Okay. loving it not loving it maybe we could use it for something else okay but I definitely want something there just not sure uh, I have a piece of this that has a lot of interesting areas so let me also see again on the rice paper you really got to tack it to the board. a little bit lighter you know the value is a little bit more I didn't want it to stand out too much so it's blending a little bit more with that green behind it because the value is similar and like I said the strong contrast is here you know plus we're also going to have this play symbol in the middle which I guess I should have found that paper first so I would know um, for sure that it goes with everything here I don't know anyway I definitely want to add some of this and I'm probably going to want to use another piece of this somewhere 
maybe over here. Oh, I hate when I cut the wrong way. After this piece, I'm definitely going to let it dry a little bit. Then we'll trim up the edges. I don't want to get too far along and then be unhappy because I made a poor decision. This one wrapped around the side and I did not intend for that to happen. So I think I'm just going to paint that. I leave the, the sides, as, it has to match the others and the other one was already black on the side. This should help us see the composition better. Let's see what's what's really needed here. Okay, so that's the top. Um, I found a couple of other of these these smaller pieces of this other color blue that I think was from this sheet. So I'm going to introduce them in a couple of places in a subtle way. Just just that. And then we will, I was going to do something else here, but I kind of like this. But we need something for under here. What color would be good to peek under there? Maybe I'll just do another piece of this because I did want that green color to be the dominant color. I'll stick this piece here. I was kind of enjoying that black. This is not making it for me. Changing my mind on that. I'm really loving this. Maybe I just make it a little bit smaller. Enjoying that black. Um, maybe I don't want to introduce this color at all. Let's let's leave that color out. So I am so glad that I found that circle cutter because this would have been the when I did the other one I cut that circle by hand and it did not it was not as perfect um, and this is just so much easier it is just going very very smoothly that I love And maybe I can introduce a little bit more black, just a, just a tiny piece. Like that. So 
So I'm trying to decide if I want to keep, I don't, want, don't think I want to keep that black because to have this black next to this black is, is not going to work. But maybe I can just patch it or introduce a piece of something else. Okay, a couple of thoughts. I want to minimize this just slightly. And I think adding that additional little bit of texture is nice. I'm going to add this up here. Break this up a little bit. My eye is going to this orange a lot and it's starting to bother me. So I'm thinking maybe doing something else with something from that same paper but I also love this down here I'm adding this down here and I even love that little bit of black that's coming through um, so there's just something right here that's still bothering me a little bit but let's um, start by pulling this down still leave some of that black that I love but, um, turn out that stick. Put this down over here. Something can need, needs to be slicing through or something. Hmm. Not really that much. It needs to be closer to this color. So maybe it needs to be something from here that has a little bit of magenta. Okay, I'm going to let that dry, trim it up, and I'm, in the meantime, I'm going to go try to find additional papers to make that play button. I'm going to clean all of this. Be right back. Okay, so I found this one. It sort of has the same, I think it was from the same session, has the same feeling as this center section. So I think it's important for those two to be sort of somewhat in line with each other. This might have a little too much black in it. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to start by cutting the straight lines.
ah, this black is right on the edge, disappears. So that's not going to work. I'm wondering if I could just paint the edge. I'm going to try to add, just add some paint to this and make it work. Because other than that, I think it works. Even with this, I might break that up a little bit. I want to introduce this color a little bit. So I thought maybe I'd just... It's not going to... It's too transparent. It's not going to cover up this black. All right, that's not going to work. Okay, let me see. I think this color is very similar. try to create some texture like this. It might need a touch of that green, so I'm going to pull some of this and throw that on here in the corner. Let's see if I can get some of that in there. enough. All right, so I have to make sure that this is in the right position. So let me get a measurement from this side, I guess. Let's say two and five eighths. Hmm? Is that two and five eighths? Yeah, it was. Doesn't seem right that it should be starting that far over. No, that can't be right. <laughs> and then this side is only one and a half inches. Okay, so something's not right here. This point is here. Let me put a teeny bit of tape on the back. So it's really important to get the play button in the right space because it will not read as a play button. It'll just look like a triangle in the middle of a circle. So I'm really taking my time to make sure that the position is correct. And I think my printout was a little bit bigger than the circle I actually drew. Is that reading like a button? This is square. All right, I'm going to start putting it down. I'll take this tape off. Fun. Very happy with that so far. So I'm going to let this dry. We're going to trim off the edges again. Then we're going to do our fabric mosaic.
So this part is done and I'm going to be doing some fabric mosaic in the black area. So the fabric I use is a Jacquard product that allows me to use my inkjet printer to print some phrases on it. So what this paper actually says is life is a game, play to win. Never let the fear of failure stop you from playing the game. If you play small, you stay small. So that's like something that uh, is like an affirmation to just kind of remind you that, um, you know, not to take things too seriously and to just go for it and never let, you know, your fears stop you from trying something different, something new. And this is like how I live my life. I mean, I, I am always trying something new. I'm not a daredevil. <laughs> definitely not a daredevil but when it comes to art especially but even in like web design and I, I always learning something new um, I don't let my intimidation get the best of me but um, you know let's just keep moving on and getting better and improving and trying new things and if you're a daredevil go for it anyway so as you could see um, I fast forwarded a bit and we're this is what the fabric mosaic looks like I use the same gel medium to apply it uh, it is a little bit tedious so I didn't include the entire video here for you because that would just be a little too much but um, I love the effect I love how it almost gives like a little bit of a texture to to the piece so then of course we need the word play at the top and I used my Cricut Joy to cut a piece of removable vinyl and I'm now just painting uh, with two coats of black paint through the openings of the stencil. It comes out nice and crisp. I might need to touch up a few places but usually it does a really good job. And so when I lift off the removable vinyl, I have to be really careful. Now it is a low tack, but sometimes it will lift off some of the paint on the paper. It'll separate the paint from the paper. And that did happen a little bit in the inside of the pea. Oh, so that was, you know, but I could always, it's paint, so I can always touch it up or I can always collage that area. So I was very happy with the way this came out overall and um, I still have to do the third one which is going to be stop so we're going to have pause play and stop so I hope you enjoyed this video this is the second one of these that I've done I've done one that was a pause button that was all about you know relaxing taking a deep breath and pausing every once in a while we're all go 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 and uh, so this one is all about remembering to play to win in life and that life is a game so I hope you enjoyed this I really enjoyed making it I have one more I'm gonna do that's called stop I haven't found the phrases yet but um, it sounds a little negative so I have to find a way to make that one positive and I'll be making that one soon so don't forget to create, inspire, and share, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.